today is day one of our new program, which is going to be a pull push legs, and we're doing something different. I'm going to be incorporating full body days essentially, where on the pull day, uh, for example today, we're going to be doing deadlifts, which is a hamstring glute exercise and we're going to be doing lats, and we're going to be doing traps, biceps, rear delts. So today is going to be hamstrings and back, essentially. And then in about two days, we'll be doing legs again. We'll be doing quad-focused legs. So I'm not sure how it's going to go. We're going to feel it out. We're going to see how this programming goes. Because I don't need to emphasize my lats, I need to emphasize my legs more so than anything. That's why I decided to switch this program up. So it's kind of a push-pull legs, but it's modified a little bit. And this is, you know, this is just from my experience. Um, I've been doing my last microcycle, which was about three months. I did two leg days, but I wasn't able to adhere to that um, program very well. I would adhere to it maybe 50% of the time because I'd get too sore. Um, my legs would take longer to recover. That combined with you know, I play basketball maybe once or twice a week, and so the soreness would catch up to me, and that became detrimental. That became difficult to follow the program in where one of my leg days was deadlift-based, the other leg day was squat-based, and if you can't adhere to the program, that's the most foundational pillar when it comes to program, is making sure that you can, that adherence is possible. Because you can have the best workout program, but if you're not able to complete it, if your lifestyle, if your work schedule, if your school schedule is too busy and you're and you're missing a day, or you're or you're getting half effort workouts, or you're not sleeping enough, if your lifestyle doesn't allow for you to do the program, then you should do the program, even though it might be technically superior based off um, a number of factors, you know, based on scientific factors, based off you know, for natural lifters, frequency is the most important thing, it's it's kind of the king. So if you're able to do frequency more, then that program is the one that you should be following. But if you're not able to actually do the program, even though it's superior, you need to switch it up. You need to be able to maximize your lifestyle to the program. So that's what I do with my program design. It's been experimental for years and years and years, and I've been tracking my workouts uh, through an Excel spreadsheet for about six years probably. And that's what I found is adherence is most important thing. So, based on lifestyle changes, travel, work, business, that type of thing, um, I I will always adjust my programming. And so this next microcycle, we're going to be focusing on strength. We're going to go back to the basics, the building blocks. So today it's a pull day. pretty good. You will see a little bit of rounding of my upper back, which is completely fine when it comes to deadlift. It's all about the lower back. So if the lower back is rounding, then you have issues. But the upper back, everyone has kind of a natural roundness of the upper back. So if you have the top guys, you'll, you'll see it too. The upper back might round it might round a little bit, but it's locked in. But as long as, as long as back here is locked in, that's the most important thing. Because this is a glute, hamstring, and spinal erector exercise. So if those three things are locked in, as long of course your abs are involved, just hip abductors are involved, your quads are a little bit involved, but the main focus is the connection between the glutes and the hamstrings doing most of the work for this exercise.
So that last rep, I could feel my lower back start to lose some of that tension. So choosing to do a 365 was a good choice for conventional. So the next exercise we're doing is going to be weighted pull-ups. Now I'm only going to do four sets, about six to eight reps. We're going to shoot for ten probably. I think I'll be able to do ten for a set or two, but this is going to be our first lat exercise primarily, and we went from deadlifts to lat exercise. So this is where kind of the bodybuilding work starts. curls probably line hamstring curls we did one set of 12 and we're doing a total of five sets in a 12 pyramid style which means 12 10 8 6 so on so forth or you could do 12 12 10 10 8 when you do really low reps on a machine your body's going to compensate just to, to complete the weight and you're going to struggle to isolate the muscles that you want to isolate. So that's why I don't go below a certain rep range. So in this case, when I do 5 by 12 pyramid, I'm going to do maybe two sets of 12, or I'm going to do one, sets, one set of 12, two sets of 10, two sets of 8. I might go as low as 6 reps, but I normally don't go below 4 reps unless it's like a Smith machine. It's okay, but an isolation machine, you don't really get much benefit from doing super low reps. We're pre-exhausting with this machine, and we're going to actually do the actual reps on the line leg curls. So that's why I'm stuck on here. set will be 15 to 20 because this is kind of a warm-up set.
We're going on 90 minutes right now, so we're running a little bit long with the workout. That's what happens when you're filming and talking at times. And deadlifts, just in general, take a little bit longer. So we have two bicep exercises, rear delt exercise, and that's it. Three exercises left, so we'll probably do a giant set here. This is heavy.